Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kalyan from Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics, Penang International Dental College. In part 2 of lecture of obturation, I am going to discuss in detail various methods of obturation of root canal. The learning outcomes for the current lecture are to describe in detail lateral compaction and vertical compaction technique, describe briefly other techniques of obturation like sectional compaction, chemically plasticized gutta percha technique, thermoplasticized injection and gutta percha carrier techniques and also demonstrate obturation of root canal using lateral condensation technique. Now moving on to the introduction in obturation techniques. There are various methods of obturation techniques currently available. The choice of obturation technique depends upon the canal anatomy and your own unique objectives of treatment for each case. Lateral condensation and warm vertical condensation of gutta pacha are most commonly employed techniques and these techniques have passed the test of time. There are various new, newer methods which are employed these days which use injectable thermoplasticized gutta pacha systems. Then we have carrier coated with alpha phase gutta pacha and also cold flowable obturation materials that combine gutta pacha and sealer as one product and also we have glass enamel embedded in gutta pacha cones. Now moving on to lateral condensation technique, this technique has been the gold standard uh, when compared to other techniques. Lateral condensation has the advantage of excellent length control and it can be accomplished with any of the acceptable sealers. However, this technique may not fill the canal irregularities as well as warm vertical compaction and this is a main drawback or disadvantage of lateral compaction technique. In lateral compaction technique, a standardized gutta pacha cone is selected with a diameter consistent with the largest file used at working length. This gutta pacha cone is called master cone and it is measured and grasped with forceps that the distance from the cone tip to the forces is equivalent to the prepared length which we call as working length. The cone placed in the canal if appropriate size has been selected there will be resistance to displacement and this is called as tuck back. Master cone then is placed and taken and a radiograph is taken and this is called as master cone radiograph. Sealer is then applied to the canal walls via the last size file or GP which you are using up to the working length. You can also use lentilo spirals to coat the sealer to the walls. A spreader is then selected which matches the taper of the canal. Appropriate size accessory points are selected according to the taper of the spreader. But I usually I prefer to use very sm uh, smaller GP cones like 15 and 20 and uh, try to compact as densely as possible. The spreader should fit within 1 to 2 millimeters of the prepared length and when introduced into the canal with master cone in place, it should be at least 2 millimeters of the working length. After placement, the spreader is removed very gently, rotating it back and forth as it is withdrawn while taking care not to spear the master cone. If it happens while removing the spreader, the master cone will come out of the canal. An axillary cone is placed in the space made by the instrument and the process is repeated until the spreader no longer penetrates beyond the coronal third of the canal. Excessive force should be avoided when you are inserting the spreader. Cold gutta pacha is not greatly compressible and as little as 1.5 kg of pressure are capable of fracturing the root. So take extreme caution when you are using a spreader to create space for the accessory cones. Excess gutta pacha in the chamber is then seared off at the level of cement or enamel junction and vertically compacted with a heating, heated plugger at the canal orifice. Warm vertical compaction of the coronal gutta pacha may enhance the seal. Use of vibration, heat and ultrasonics has also been proposed to create space for lateral compaction. This is an alternative to cold lateral compaction with finger spreader. Ultrasonics, more recently a combination of vibration and heat is used with downpack obturation device. 
Now coming to second technique which is warm vertical condensation. Vertical condensation of gutta pacha forms the basis for many techniques such as master cone sectional and thermoplasticized techniques. In this technique, a master cone is fitted short of the corrected working length, usually 0.5 to 2 mm with, with resistance to displacement. Following its adaptation, the master cone is removed and the sealer is applied as described in the previous slides. The cone is placed in the canal and the coronal portion is removed by applying heat with a spreader or a plugger that also softens the remaining material in the canal. A plugger is inserted into the canal and gutta pacha is condensed firmly forcing the plasticized material apically. The process is repeated until the apical portion has been completely filled. The coronal space is then backfilled using small segments of gutta pacha by placing into the root 3 to 4 mm sections approximately the size of the canal applying heat and then condensing gutta pacha with a plugger. The advantages of warm vertical compaction technique include movement of plasticized gutta percha into and thereby filling the canal irregularities and axillary canals. The disadvantages of this technique includes risk of vertical root fracture because of the excessive compaction forces as well as less length control when compared to lateral compaction technique. And there is also potential for extrusion of the material into the periradicular tissues. Warm vertical compaction is difficult in curved canals where we are using rigid pluggers which are unable to penetrate to the necessary depth requiring that canals be enlarged and more tapered in comparison with the lateral condensation technique. This excessive removal of tooth structure weakens the root can and also lead to fracture of the root while condensation. So in the vertical compaction technique, we are heating the plugger over a flame and then delivering the heat into the canal. But nowadays, there are many devices which are available to be used for vertical compaction technique and these devices allow to deliver heat in a controlled manner compared to using a spreader or a plugger heating over a flame and inserting into the canal. These devices, downpack cordless, uh, cordless obstruction devices as well as system B and touch and heat by Cybron Endo are alternatives to applying heat with a flame heated instrument because they permit good temperature control. The Endotech 2 by Meditenta International is a battery powered heat controlled spreader or plugger. The quick change heat heater tips are size equivalent to number 30 instruments which are autoclavable and can be adjusted to any axis angulation. However, the devices require specific positioning to allow activation of the instrument using small round button on the side of the device. So to deliver heat when you are using the device, you need to press the button then the tip will get heated up. So you insert into the canal to deliver the heat to the gutta pacha. And once you release the uh, the button then immediately it gets cooled off. Investigators have demonstrated that Endotech 2 produces a fusion of gutta pacha into a small solid homogeneous mass. This device technique requires the cleaning and shaping of canals with a continuous taper design and an apical stop. After the primary point is fitted to the working length, the hand spreader and the Endotech 2 plugger are fitted and silicon stoppers are placed to the mark the canal length. A small amount of sealer is applied. The master cone is then firmly positioned and gently adapted with a hand or finger spreader. One or two additional gutta pacha points should be placed to reduce the possibility that the warm plugger will loosen the point when the tip is retracted. The device is then activated using light pressure. The tip is inserted beside the master cone to within 2 to, two to 4 millimeters of the working length. The tip is then rotated for 5 to 8 seconds and removed cold. An unheated spreader can be placed in the resulting canal to ensure adaptation followed by accessory cones. The process is continued until the canal is totally filled. So in this slide, I have attached a YouTube video for you to uh, see system B and backfill technique. In the next technique, continuous wave compaction, which is a variation of warm vertical compaction. 
In this technique, we employ system B unit and tapered stainless steel pluggers. These pluggers will have a tip diameter of 0.5 mm. The gutter percha cones mimic the tapered preparation, permitting application of greater hydraulic forces during compaction with appropriately tapered pluggers. In this slide, I have shared the YouTube link for the uh, video for continuous wave compaction technique. After fitting the master cone, a plugger is sized to fit within 5 to 7 mm of the canal length. The point of the plugger binding should be noted as once the instrument reaches this point, the hydraulic force of the gutter percha will decrease and the forces of the root will increase. System B is set to 200 degrees in touch mode. The plugger is then inserted into the canal orifice and activated to remove the excess coronal material. The compaction is initiated by placing the cold plugger against the gutta percha in the canal orifice. Firm pressure is applied along with heat. The plugger is moved rapidly for 1 to 2 seconds to within 3 mm of binding point. The heat is then inactivated while firm pressure is being maintained on the plugger for 5 to 10 seconds. After this, when the gutta percha has cooled, a 1 second activation of heat separates the plugger and it is carefully removed. In ovoid canals where the canal configuration may prevent the generation of hydraulic forces, an axillary cone can be placed along the master cone before compaction. Otherwise, the gutta percha cone, the master cone comes out with the plugger. Filling the remaining space left by the plugger can be accomplished with thermoplastic injection technique or by fitting an axillary cones with the space into the space with the sealer, heating it and compacting it with short applications of heat and vertical pressure. Now we discuss a new device which is available for compaction of gutta percha. This is called down pack. It allows for 3D obturation with heat and vibration. Downpack is an innovative device recently introduced into the US market which allows for three-dimensional obturation and employs both heat and vibration. It is available in Europe under the name EndoTwin. Downpack is a cordless device and designed with multifunctional endodontic heating and vibrating speeder, uh, spreader device. It can be used for both warm vertical and lateral condensation techniques. It is also suitable for use with Katapacha, Resilon and current hybrid resin filling materials. The clinician has a choice to work with or without the tip vibration or condensation techniques making this device very versatile. The down pack technique involves adapting a master cone in the same manner as with lateral compaction technique. A 0.04 taper Katapacha cone is fitted into the root canal up to the working length. Then a 0.02 taper spreader is activated and heated for 2 seconds in vibration mode and which is placed between the master cone and the dentine. It is advanced until the tip reaches within 2 mm of the working length. The spreader is removed and a D11 T spreader is placed up to the 1 mm of working length in order to condense the filling material. Fine medium axillary gutta percha points are then placed. This procedure is repeated until no more than 2 mm of spreader can be advanced into the canal. Any traces of gutta percha and sealers present within the chamber are carefully removed with alcohol. Downpack technique offers a wide selection of tips in nickel titanium and saw ultra soft stainless steel. The heat carrying tips can be, have been designed with geometrics that are consistent with tapered root canal preparations. Vibration has been shown to increase gutta percha filling density. One study showed that down pack combination of heat and vibration resulted in a denser, more compact filling of the root canal space. Now coming to plastic injection techniques. In this technique, we are discussing more about Optura 2 system, which usually consists of a handheld gun and which has a chamber into which pellets of gutta percha are loaded and also has a silver needles of varying gauges to deliver this thermoplasticized material into the canal. In this slide, I have attached a YouTube link where you can see a video on Optura system. 
the temperature and thus the viscosity of gutta percha can be adjusted in this device. It's an hybrid technique which employs by filling the canal approximately 4 to 5 millimeters from the apex using lateral compaction technique before gradually filling the coronal portion with thermoplasticized gutta percha. The needle backs out of the canal as it is filled and the pluggers dipped in alcohol are then used to compact the gutta percha. Compaction should continue until the gutta percha cools and solidifies to com compensate for contra uh, contraction or shrinkage that occurs upon cooling of gutta percha. In elements obturation system by Cybron Endo, which contains a system DP device and a gutta percha extruder in a motorized handpiece. The extruder tips are size 20, 23, 25 gauge and are pre-bent. The disposable cartridges of gutta percha are heated quickly and the unit shuts off automatically to prevent overheating of the material. Then there is a next technique which is a carrier based obturation technique. Example for carrier based obturation technique is thermophile by dense ply. It consists of a plastic core which is coated with alpha phase gutta percha and a heating device that controls the temperature. Again in this slide I have given a YouTube link for uh, the video for thermophile. The carrier is set to predetermined length using the millimeter calibration markings on the carrier shaft. After heating it, the clinician has approximately 10 seconds to insert into the canal without rotating or twisting it. A rapid insertion rate has been shown to enhance obturation. The position of the carrier is verified radiographically. The gutta percha is then allowed to two, allowed 2 to 4 minutes to cool before resecting the carrier. The main advantage of this technique is the movement of gutta percha into lateral and axillary canals. However, extrusion of material behind the apical extent of preparation is a disadvantage. Now moving on to the next technique which is called as thermomechanical compaction. As the name suggests, here the mechanical movement of the file generates heat which help in compaction of the gutta percha. In this method, there is the utilization of a compactor with fluids similar to a headstrom file but the difference is that here the fluids are reversed. The compactor is selected based upon the size of the canal preparation and inserted with a handpiece activated alongside the gutta percha core 3 to 4 millimeters from the prepared length. The gutta percha is heated by the friction of the rotating burr and is compacted apically and laterally as the device is slowly withdrawn from the canal. The main advantage of this technique are simplicity, speed and ability to fill the canal irregularities. Whereas disadvantages are extrusion of the filling material beyond the apex, there is potential for instrument fracture, this technique is difficult in curved canals and uncontrolled heat generation. Here I want to discuss a new material which nowadays introduced in the market which is called gutta core. This new concept is of carrier based gutta pacha technique. Gutta core obturator are not made from plastic but are they made from gutta percha elastomer with intermolecular cross link that means cross link gutta percha. Here the obturator is entirely made up of gutta percha available in two forms that is alpha and beta phase. I have shared the YouTube link for the gutta core technique also. This makes for not only rapid and high quality three dimensional root canal filling but also for easy post phase preparation and root filling removal in case where retreatment is required. The carrier can be removed from the root canal just as easily as gutta percha since it is also a gutta percha. Consequently, for purposes we can use the same instrument as in canals filled using lateral or vertical condensation. In summary, dental clinicians must recognize that a particular method of obturation will not satisfy for every single case that requires endodontic therapy. The obturation method selected whether a traditional method or a more contemporary one must be consistent with the principles of clinical practice that is to provide the best treatment for the patient.